Welcome back. We're with Dale and Glenn in their 1970s home they bought years ago. Now it's time for a kitchen remodel, but Dale did not know where to start. We knew we were keeping the floor due to budget, so that was settled. But that also presented several design challenges, one of which was the cabinets. Now, originally, Dale wanted to get rid of the cabinets above the peninsula. She also wanted to keep the three-foot peninsula to use as an island. I had a different idea. You're standing here, you're standing here. All of them have given right. good flow. So. Plenty of room. And it's the flow that I love. I'm used to that. Right. Um, so I, your functionality is going to be enhanced mm -hmm. um, with mm -hmm. this layout. There are a lot of other things we need to accomplish. The redesign included getting rid of her three overhead cabinets above the peninsula as well as the soffit. We want to take the new cabinets to the ceiling. Nate and the Winwood team really listened to the client, and in this case, he not only helped me bring my design plan to life, but worked through changes to the design as the process evolved. Winwood is a small group of people that's dedicated to having the process of cabinetry, custom cabinetry, be very simple and easy and very personal. When we sat down with Dale and Glenn, um, they had an idea of what they wanted to accomplish but didn't really know how to get there. And um, sharing myself, working side by side, asking key questions and really listening um, was the most important factor to figuring out where should we go with this project? What were the most important things? Together we were able to really hear what they were saying and ask them key questions um, that we could then answer to guide them into the best design plan for their space. So Nate, where we really landed on the style of the cabinets themselves is the Mission Shaker style. And the Shaker style is a really transitional, traditional style that can go in a variety of different ways. But what Dale and Glenn really wanted to do is to take that traditional and make it a little bit more contemporary and modern. I think also we could do a um, an overlay door style. Okay. So removing the frame, the visible frame, which is very traditional looking, but taking the shaker door, which is traditional, but then putting it in an overlay um, door style will give us that kind of modern feel, extremely clean um, and, and very um, not busy in that small space. Right. A common myth is that you have to spend thousands on custom cabinets, and many people won't even consider them as an option. In this project, I encourage Dale and Glenn to meet with Winwood to explore the possibility of having custom designed cabinetry. They found that the quote for custom cabinetry was very comparable to the ready-made cabinet companies. A lot of people think stock cabinets may be budget friendly for them, but in reality, sometimes trying to make them fit in their space uh, becomes more expensive and they don't get the function when the job is finished. When we return, I will try and convince Dale to get rid of her peninsula and think outside the box with her space. And structural and plumbing issues force us to think on our feet with a quick redesign.